Hey, Jameson here with Advanced Test Equipment, and today I have the new Narda Fieldman RF Survey Meter, and we're going to check out all the capabilities that this unit has, including e-field strength measurement, spatial averaging, as well as data logging over time. Let's check it out. Okay, let's see what's in the box. We have two calibration certificates, one for the meter, one for the Pro, the USB-C to USB-C cable, rings with colors to mark different probes, the USB charger for the unit, a shoulder strap for the case, and a few manuals, and the keys to the case, and also the manuals once again digitally on a USB drive, and here we have the field man. And we also have one of the newer probes. This one is the EFD0391. And as you can tell, it has a new connector. And this is a whole new system. Here we are on the main screen for the Narda field man. We are displaying current time and date, as well as battery life and temperature and humidity. We're showing what probe we have connected, the frequency range of the probe, the type of probe and then here we go with our measurements right now we're default to looking at the actual RMS in volts per meter and we can also see directional based on the X Y and Z axis of the probe if you scroll through the measurements you have your minimum your maximum RMS your average RMS and your max average and when you're looking at your actual measurement you can also see those four other measurements down here below on the table and here's the exciting part of the new Narda Field Man is having this timer logging function down here where we're also displaying the actual and the average readings on a yellow and blue plot. And so the basic settings that you can change are displaying your units, volts per meter, watts per meter squared. Um, you can also enable disable your time curve you can show further back than 48 seconds on the data logging up to 24 hours. You can also do a single run and your averaging time is showing your average over this time frame for your average measurements. And so we can go take a peek at a few of the general settings here. A bunch of them are typical electronic type settings. You can also enable adding voice and text comments after making measurements. Uh, there's an audible RF indicator, which I'm going to turn on here for this video. Um, what else do we have? Alarm function, where you can change the units of measurement as well and set a alarm threshold for the E field or the H field based on your probe type. And then we also have factory reset. We can see what happens when we get a uh, e-field source that we're starting to measure and we can see the the actual measurement shot up and now the averaging is catching up to it based off the six minute average and you can also hear the audible RF indicator which is pretty cool Okay, so now if we want to make a measurement, all you simply have to do is click this button. Measurement is saved. Now to go see those measurements, we can go here, go down to the data logger, and see on this project we've made 11 measurements so far, and the latest one is, there it is. And the one other cool thing that you can do is Looking back at a measurement, you can add a text comment or a voice comment right there. Now let's go check out the few other functions that this unit can perform, such as spatial averaging, where in this case you're going to be moving your meter and probe uh, vertically, taking multiple measurements across the space, and to do that, you'll click play, make your measurement, done, next position. Make another measurement, done, 
next position, done, and so on and so forth. Here we'll save and finish, and we can see, okay, measurement was saved. We can now see the average and the spatial average um, displayed. With this new design, the analog to digital converter is now built into the Fieldman probe meaning that future recalibration can be done with only the EORH field probe that you have. Thank you for watching this video, and if you're interested in the NARDA Fieldman, reach out to our team at ATEC.